So it seems like every few years, I come out and do a new video on how to set up AMD Affinity. Going all the way back seven years ago, uh, we've got one here when it was still ATI, and it was uh, a video on bezel compensation. Over the years, I've added videos for 5x1 Portrait when that feature was introduced, and then Mixed Resolution Affinity a couple of years ago, and then POP Portrait Landscape Portrait. With the uh, release of RX Vega just upon us and the release of the 17.7.2 driver, I thought it would be a good time to go in and see what Affinity looks like in the new or newer Radeon settings, the Crimson Relive driver. So once you open up, uh, you have a box up here at the top for Affinity. You're left with, or, or just given two options here. We've got a quick setup and advanced setup. So let's go for the quick setup. And it works very quickly, very easily. Um, my monitors were already in the correct order here on Windows. If yours aren't, you can go through and do the arrange displays thing here. I'll show you what that looks like. You just click the box that corresponds to the monitor that is lit up in blue and you're all good to go. So here we've got a mixed mode, mixed aspect resolution setup. We have a 34 inch ultra wide in the middle, 3440 by 1440 P flanked by a pair of 1440 P widescreen, 2560 by 1440. So we're gonna go into the iFinity setup here. We're gonna do the quick setup. And it has uh, properly configured it here. It will allow me to arrange the displays if I need to, but we can see here in the little graphic that we've got the widescreen, the um, elongated ultra wide here, and then another widescreen on the right. And so quick setup works for a mixed mode um, environment. We've gotten the basic iFinity setup complete. We're gonna look at some of the finer details, uh, things to configure. Affinity has what it calls an, an intermediate resolution, which is a resolution you can scale down to in case Affinity is uh, too demanding on your GPU. What you'll notice here is that the intermediate resolution they give us is 4800 by 1200, which is three times 1600 by 1200, which is obviously the wrong aspect ratio for three widescreen monitors. So to fix that, if we go here to the Radeon settings, you'll notice there's no option to do that. There's also no option to uh, do any bezel compensation or bezel management. If you open up the, the Try Advanced Setup, all that does is take you directly to the screen to create a new Ifinity configuration, uh, which we don't want to do, which won't work here because we already have Ifinity set up. So after a fair amount of research, what I found is that if you go to your C drive under your program files, AMD, CNext, CCC Slim, you can open the old school Catalyst control panel by double clicking on CCC here. And indeed, I've gone to the point um, when trying to work through this, of just putting a shortcut to it on my desktop because I've had to go to it so many times in the testing here. So you'll notice when we bring this up, we uh, see the traditional Catalyst Control Panel uh, settings window here. The only thing that's left here is the uh, Affinity settings, the detailed settings you can do. Everything else has been migrated into the Crimson driver. Um, Affinity is the, the one orphan left so the first thing I want to do is go to this um, intermediate resolution or what they call the custom resolution. You can see it's the 4800 by 1200. We're going to select 5760 by 1080. Click apply. So it says that's done. I've seen some issues with this not sticking and taking a couple of times. Um, we can see it's not there in our display properties. And usually a reboot will... Um, make it stick. So let's hope that's uh, the case here. So if we go into display settings here, we can see that that change has stuck. So we still need to do our bezel compensation. 
So I'm going to just open the Catalyst Control Center from my shortcut. I'm going to click on the Adjust uh, Bezel Compensation link here. So we can see the triangle on the left here, and just like has been the case, you have to click for every little small movement. It would be nice if they would allow larger movements or to just enter a value so that it didn't take so long to do this. So we can hear and see here every little click. That looks pretty close, at least for this demonstration. If you had um, a vertical affinity configuration, then you could do the up and down as well. We're gonna click the right arrow here. It's asking us if it looks right. We're gonna click yes. Screen blanks out again, and you'll now notice that it is showing some space between our monitors here in the Catalyst control panel to let you know that you do have um, bezel compensation enabled. So here we are with bezel management and intermediate resolution, custom resolution set and holding. Took us three reboots. Uh, I guess if you did the bezel management first, you could get away with two reboots but we're still looking at hidden settings that a lot of users may not even know are available, and then a rather trying time and even getting those set. So I've spent some time with the new um, Radeon settings, um, Crimson Relive 17.7.2, uh, working to get Ifinity set up in a number of configurations, and I've come to some, uh, I think, pretty comprehensive conclusions here. One, the quick setup works in one scenario. If you have three panels in the same orientation, whether they are landscape or portrait, it will work. You will get an Ifinity single large surface SLS without problem. But that's all you get. You don't get a proper intermediate resolution and you don't get uh, any bezel compensation. So if all you want to do is set up Ifinity and leave it at that, then quick setup works for you. The big problem from here is that the capabilities are there. You can get the proper intermediate resolution, and that's going from a 1440 vertical pixel count, say down to a 1080p pixel count, so that you can reduce some of the GPU strain. You can get bezel compensation, but to get any of those, you've got to go into the old Catalyst Control Center and there's no button for that on the new Radeon settings. All there is is a button for advanced setup, which takes you directly to the create an Ifinity group. AMD could fix a lot of these shortcomings by simply replacing that button on the Radeon settings control panel, and instead of advanced setup, say advanced settings, advanced features, um, something like that so that you don't have to dig into um, program files, AMD, CNEXT, CCC Slim, and then manually open the old Catalyst Control Center, or the fact that you even need to know that that's available and possible. Additionally, PLP, what I've got here behind me, Portrait Landscape Portrait, one of my favorite setups um, in general, is simply broken now. Um, it worked a couple of years ago when the feature was first out, um, I tried for a half hour or more working to get it set up here, and all it would ever do is re-rotate my outer panels into landscape and uh, give me a traditional 3 by one landscape setup. I don't know why it's broken, and it's really disappointing in that it was a great feature um, that a lot of people asked for back in the day, and it's simply not working anymore. All in all... I'm really disappointed with the Ifinity support in the current Crimson Relive 17.7.2, uh, and um, I would guess this has probably been a problem for a while. Um, it's been a, a while since I've had to reset up um, Ifinity at all. It's a shame that AMD doesn't give a proper um, intermediate resolution. We're well past the days of tons of monitor configurations between 4x3, 5x4, 16x10, and 16x9 aspect ratios. 
um, it should be a pretty safe bet to give an aspect proper intermediate resolution. Um, everybody knows about bezel compensation by now. People that are, you know, are going to use Ifinity. And it's really a shame that all of these features are hidden um, and really inaccessible unless you know to go look for them and where to find them. So all in all, you know, over the years, I've been a huge fan of multi-monitor support um, all the way back to the Matrox triple head to go. Was uh, really happy to see AMD bring in native support into a GPU. Then when NVIDIA did with Surround, you know, the ecosystem really took off. So it's really disappointing after all these years um, and really over the last two years of the Crimson driver development that we're regressing from an AMD Ifinity standpoint. Um, maybe we can get AMD to respond here, and if they do, I'll make another video or post comments here. Uh, but it's, it's really disappointing to see a regression of an implementation of a modern display technology.